a Wikivide Documentaries production. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Enjoy. Lisa Makovsky Lisa Ann Makovsky is an American politician serving as the senior United States Senator from Alaska, having held that seat since 2002. She is a member of the Republican Party and is the second most senior Republican woman in the Senate. Along with Susan Collins from Maine, she is frequently described as one of the most moderate Republicans in the Senate and is a crucial swing voter. Makovsky is the daughter of former U.S. Senator and Governor of Alaska, Frank Makovsky. Before her appointment to the Senate, she served in the Alaska House of Representatives and was eventually elected majority leader. She was appointed to the U.S. Senate by her father who resigned his seat in December 2002 to become the governor of Alaska. She completed her father's unexpired term, which ended in January 2005. Makovsky ran for and won a full term in 2004. She ran for a second term in 2010. After losing the Republican Party primary to Tea Party candidate Joe Miller, Makovsky ran as a writing candidate and defeated both Miller and Democrat Scott McAdams in the general election. This made her the second U.S. Senator to be elected by write-in vote. Although Makovsky has won three full terms to the Senate, she has never won a majority of the vote. She won pluralities in each of her three races, with 48.6% of the vote in 2004, 39.5% in 2010, and 44.4% in 2016. Early Life education, and early career. Makovsky was born in Ketchikan, Alaska, the daughter of Nancy Rina and Frank Makovsky. Her paternal great-grandfather was of Polish descent, and her mother's ancestry is Irish and French-Canadian. As a child, she and her family moved around the state with her father's job as a banker. She earned a BA degree in economics from Georgetown University in 1980 the same year her father was elected to the U.S. Senate. She is a member of Pi Beta Phi sorority and represented the state of Alaska as the 1980 Cherry Blossom Princess. She received her J.D. degree in 1985 from Willamette University College of Law. She was employed as an attorney in the Anchorage District Court Clerk's Office. From 1989 to 1998, she was an attorney in private practice in Anchorage, Alaska. She also served, from 1990 to 1991, on the Mayor's Task Force for the Homeless. Alaska House of Representatives In 1998, Makovsky was elected to the Alaska House of Representatives. Her District 18 included Northeast Anchorage, Fort Richardson, and Elmendorf Air Force Base, and suburban parts of Eagle River Chugiak. In 1999, she introduced legislation establishing a Joint Armed Services Committee. She was re-elected in 2000 and, after her district boundaries changed, in 2002. That latter year she had a conservative primary opponent, Nancy Dahlstrom, who had challenged her, because Lisa had supported abortion rights and rejected conservative economics. Lisa prevailed by only 56 votes. She was named as House Majority Leader for the 2003-2004 legislative session. She resigned her House seat before taking office, due to her appointment by her father to the seat he had vacated in the U.S. Senate. Upon his stepping down to assume the Alaska governorship, Makovsky sat on the Alaska Commission on Post-Secondary Education and chaired both the Labor and Commerce and the Military and Veterans Affairs Committees. Upon her resigning and taking her Senate seat, her father appointed Dahlstrom, the choice of the District Republican Committee, as her replacement. Appointment In December 2002, Makovsky while a member of the State House was appointed by her father, Governor Frank Makovsky, to fill a U.S. Senate vacancy. The vacancy was created when Frank Makovsky resigned from the Senate after being elected governor. The appointment caused controversy in the state. Many voters disapproved of apparent nepotism in the appointment of Makovsky to the Senate. Her appointment eventually resulted in a referendum that stripped the governor of his power to directly appoint replacement senators. Sarah Palin was particularly upset. 
because she had interviewed for the seat for herself, but had been rejected. 2004 Makovsky was elected to a full six-year term against former Democratic Governor Tony Knowles in the 2004 election after winning a primary challenge by a large margin. The two were in a dead heat in polls. The centrist Republican Main Street Partnership, which wanted to run TV ads for Makovsky, was told no airtime was left to buy. Near the end of the general campaign, senior U.S. Senator Ted Stevens shot campaign ads for Makovsky and claimed that if a Democrat replaced Makovsky, the state of Alaska would likely receive fewer federal dollars. 2010 Makovsky faced the most difficult election of her career in the August 24, 2010, Republican Party primary election against Joe Miller, a former U.S. magistrate judge supported by former Governor Sarah Palin. The initial ballot count for the primary showed her trailing Miller by a margin of 51-49%, with absentee ballots yet to be tallied. After the first round of absentee ballots were counted on August 31, Makovsky conceded the race, stating that she did not believe that Miller's lead would be overcome in the next round of absentee vote count. Following the outcome of the primary election, the Makovsky campaign floated the idea of her running as a libertarian in the general election, but on August 29, 2010, the executive board of the state Libertarian Party voted not to consider allowing Makovsky on its ticket for the U.S. Senate race. On September 17, 2010, Makovsky said that she would mount a writing campaign for the Senate seat. Her writing campaign was aided in large part with substantial monetary aid and assistance from the native corporations and PACs, as well as support from state teachers and firefighters unions. On November 17, 2010, the Associated Press reported that Makovsky had become only the second Senate candidate to win a writing campaign, thereby retaining her seat. Makovsky emerged victorious after a two-week count of write-in ballots showed she had overtaken Miller. Miller did not concede defeat. U.S. Federal District Judge Ralph Baseline granted an injunction to stop the certification of the election due to serious, legal issues and irregularities raised by Miller as to the hand count of absentee ballots. On December 10, 2010, an Alaskan judge dismissed Miller's case, clearing the way for Murkowski's win. However, Miller appealed the decision to the state Supreme Court, and the results were not certified. On December 13, Miller appealed the Alaska Superior Court decision of the prior week to the Alaska Supreme Court. Miller's appeal was rejected by the state Supreme Court on December 22, 2010. On December 28, 2010, U.S. District Judge Ralph Baseline dismissed Miller's lawsuit. Makovsky was certified as the winner on December 30 by Governor Sean Parnell. 2016 after securing the Republican Party nomination by a wide margin, Murkowski was again re-elected to the U.S. Senate in 2016. Joe Miller, this time running as the Libertarian Party nominee, was again the runner-up in the general election. The election was unusual in featuring a Libertarian Party nominee who endorsed Donald Trump running against a Republican incumbent who did not. The Libertarian vice presidential nominee Bill Weld endorsed Makovsky, citing Miller's support for Trump and, devoted social conservative, views as incompatible with libertarianism. Political Positions Senator Lisa Makovsky is a moderate Republican. Since winning re-election in 2010, her voting record has been deemed by some as more moderate when compared to her previous years in the Senate. The National Journal, in 2013, gave Makovsky a composite score of 56% conservative and 45% liberal. The National Journal ranked her as the 56th most liberal and 44th most conservative member of the Senate crowd pack, which rates politicians based on donations they receive and give, has given Makovsky a score of 2.7 C with 10 C being the most conservative and 10 liters being the most liberal. According to Gutrak, Makovsky is the second most moderate Republican senator and as of 2017 is placed by Gutrak's analysis to the left of all Republicans, 
except Susan Collins, and to the left of Democratic Senator Joe Manchin. The New York Times arranged Republican senators by ideology and also ranked Murkowski as the second most liberal Republican. The American Conservative Union has given her a lifetime rating of 59.79% conservative. In 2018, the fiscally conservative PAC Americans for Prosperity gave her a lifetime rating of 75% conservative and the ACU gave her a 52% conservative score in 2017. Americans for Democratic Action gave her a 2012 rating of 35% liberal. According to 538, which tracks congressional votes, Murkowski voted with President Trump's position 83.6% of the time. According to CQ Roll Call, Murkowski voted with President Obama's position on votes 72.3% of the time, one of only two Republicans voting for his positions over 70% of the time. Abortion and Reproductive Issues Murkowski is generally pro-choice on abortion and supports non-federally funded embryonic stem cell research, although she has cast significant pro-life votes, including once to ban late-term abortions. She does not want to overturn the Roe v. Wade decision. She is a member of the Republican Majority for Choice, Republicans for Choice, and The Wish List, a group of pro-choice women Republicans. On March 30, 2017, Murkowski joined Susan Collins to break party lines voting with Democrats against a bill allowing states to defund Planned Parenthood. In 2018, Murkowski again joined Collins, voting with a majority of Democrats against a bill to ban abortion after 20 weeks of pregnancy. Planned Parenthood voted to recognize Murkowski for her vote. Murkowski was one of two Republicans who voted against an amendment to prohibit federal funding from being given to facilities that promote abortion services or family planning. By July of 2018, Murkowski was one of three Republican senators, along with Shelley Carpito and Susan Collins, who publicly supported keeping the Roe v. Wade decision, Planned Parenthood, which rates politicians' support for pro-choice issues has given Murkowski a lifetime score of 58%. Now All Pro-Choice America, which also provides ratings, gave her a score of 50% in 2015. In 2014, her score from Now All was 80%. In 2017, Planned Parenthood gave Murkowski a score of 41%. Population Connection, which supports voluntary family planning, determined that Murkowski voted with their positions 43% of the time in 2017, 33% in 2016, and 100% in 2014. Conversely, National Right to Life, which opposes abortion and rates support for anti-abortion issues, gave Murkowski a score of 66% during the 114th Congress and a 40% in 2018. Taxes Murkowski is a signer of Americans for Tax Reform's Taxpayer Protection Pledge. The National Federation of Independent Business named Murkowski a guardian of small business for her outstanding voting record on behalf of small business owners. On December 2, 2017, Murkowski voted for the Tax Cuts and Jobs Act of 2017, citing her desire for job growth and tax reduction. Alaska Native Issues Murkowski is an active member of the Senate Committee on Indian Affairs and served as Vice Chairman of the Committee during the 110th Congress. She is the Chairman of the Senate Energy and Natural Resources Committee, and a member of the Committee on Appropriations, and has a continuing role on the Health, Education, Labor, and Pensions Committee. In 2009, she was honored with a Congressional Leadership Award by the National Congress of American Indians. She is the first Alaskan to receive the award. Healthcare Murkowski opposed President Barack Obama's health reform legislation. She voted against the Patient Protection and Affordable Care Act in December 2009, and she voted against the Health Care and Education Reconciliation Act of 2010. Murkowski has stated numerous times that she would like to repeal the Patient Protection and Affordable Care Act. Murkowski voted for 
which called for the expansion of the state children's health insurance program to provide coverage for additional uninsured children. That bill passed both the House and the Senate, but was vetoed by President George W. Bush. She supports health care reforms in her native state, as well, largely, because health care costs for Alaskans are up to 70 percent higher than costs in the contiguous United States. In 2017, Lisa Murkowski announced that she was opposed to repealing the Affordable Care Act without a replacement plan. She voted against starting debates in the Senate. She also was one of seven Republicans who voted against repealing the ACA without a replacement. On July 27, 2017, Murkowski voted no on the Health Care Freedom Act commonly referred to as the skinny repeal of the ACA. She said the defeated bill did not adequately replace the ACA, and that her constituents had expressed concerns about its impact on their health coverage. Murkowski called for a more open process in writing a replacement bill. Her vote was criticized by some Alaska Republicans, while 200 people rallied in Anchorage and marched to Murkowski's office to thank her for her role in protecting the ACA. Education In February 2017, Murkowski and Senator Susan Collins were the only two Republicans who voted in the Senate against Donald Trump's selection for Secretary of Education, Betsy DeVoe. This caused a 50-50 tie broken by Senate President Mike Pence to successfully confirm DeVoe appointment. A day earlier, Collins and Murkowski both voted for DeVoe within the Senate Health, Education, Labor, and Pensions Committee, passing DeVoe nomination by a vote of 12-11 to allow the Senate to vote on DeVoe. Immigration in 2007, Lisa Murkowski voted against the McCain-Kennedy proposal to offer amnesty to undocumented immigrants. Later, Murkowski was one of two Republicans who voted for the DREAM Act in 2010. She was also one of 14 Republicans in 2013 who voted for a comprehensive immigration bill that offered a pathway to citizenship for undocumented immigrants. In 2018, Murkowski voted in favor of the mccain coons comprehensive immigration bill which did not include funding for a border wall as well as in favor of the bill proposed by Collins to grant a pathway to citizenship for 1.8 million dreamers and to include $25 billion for border security. She voted against the Republican bill, backed by President Trump, which would have reduced and restricted legal immigration. After Trump announced a zero-tolerance migration policy that separates children from parents Lisa Murkowski opposed the Trump administration's actions and called the policy, cruel, tragic. Energy and Environment For the 109th Congress, Republicans for Environmental Protection, a group dedicated to environmental causes, gave Murkowski a rating of 2%, noting that in 2006, she voted against SC Resolution 83, intended to bolster energy security and lower energy-related environmental impacts, against an amendment to S. 728 that would make the Army Corps of Engineers more accountable for the environmental and economic impacts of their projects, for oil drilling in the Arctic National Wildlife Refuge, for offshore oil and gas drilling. Murkowski is currently the chairman of the Senate Energy and Natural Resources Committee. She has given her support to efforts to drill for oil in the Arctic National Wildlife Refuge. Murkowski believes that recent technological developments have made drilling safer and more economical. Murkowski introduced a bill that would block the Environmental Protection Agency from limiting the amount of greenhouse gases that major industries can produce. In a statement, Murkowski said, we cannot turn a blind eye to the EPA's efforts to impose backdoor climate regulations with no input from Congress. In the wake of the 2010 Deepwater Horizon oil spill, Murkowski opposed a bill that would have raised the liability cap for oil spills from $75 million to $10 billion. She said that such a large cap would jeopardize various businesses and that exposing companies to greater risk would make it impossible for smaller companies to compete. Murkowski has received over $50,000 from BP, a major supporter of fossil fuels. Murkowski joined most of her Republican colleagues in repealing the Stream Protection Rule, 
a regulation which prevented coal companies from dumping coal in waterways. Brought to you by Wikividi Documentaries. Would you like to know more?